your installation might need a battery protect. Let me tell you why. So a battery protect can protect a lead acid battery and a lithium battery. I'll first talk about the lead acid battery. So for lead acid batteries, you can see this as a low voltage disconnect device. You can place it between the bus bar and the positive pole of your, for example, 12 volt distribution panel. Next, you can set up the cutoff voltage, for example, 11 volts. And when the voltage of the battery drops below 11 volts, this automatically disconnects the load. So especially if you have a lead acid battery and you don't always monitor the state of your battery, it may be easy to install a battery protect. If you have a lithium battery with an internal BMS, I don't really think you need one of these because the BMS will cut off the power to your devices once the voltage gets too low. But if you have a Vicfon smart battery with an external BMS, you do need a battery protect. The BMS is connected to one or multiple battery protects. So the BMS can automatically shut off the device which is drawing current or giving. Because if there's something wrong with your smart battery, the BMS needs to be able to cut off all energy flows. And that's where you need these for. Also important to know is the energy can only flow in one direction, which is from the input to the output. So if you have, for example, a multi-plus, which can either charge and give energy, this device won't work for that. You can only place it between a battery charger, for example, or an inverter. So the energy can only go one way. Because if you connect this uh, the wrong way around, it will break. If you want to know more about Off-Grid Electrics, you can download our free ebook via the link in our bio.